Oh yeah, not on that side, man. It's on the left side. Clark here at Victory Bicycle Studio with a really, really cool one. Y'all, we're excited to show you this bike, but more excited to tell you about this project and what went into it. No doubt looking at it, yes, this is a felt VR carbon road bike, but that's really where it stops. The rest of this is all custom, and I'm gonna tell you more about it, and you're gonna wanna stay tuned because we're gonna have all series of videos coming through, not only on this bike, but on the rider. So do me a favor, go ahead and click subscribe, Shoot this link to your friends, tell them to hit subscribe. It motivates us. And when I tell you about this project, you're gonna wanna see these next videos that are coming out. So diving in, this is the Felt VR Carbon Endurance Road Bike. It's really, it's the frame that we started this project with. This bike is being built for one of our adaptive athletes. So Pam is getting ready to do her first full Ironman. She's done multiple half Ironmans and Olympic distance, but we built this bike specifically for her quest to do a full Ironman triathlon. We needed to get all the controls to the left side of this bike, which is why you started seeing uh, I was not able to break the rear wheel with the right side like, like uh, the rest of our traditional bikes. So. Let's tell you a little bit about it. This one here, we employed a company called Outbreaker. It's a Korean company that makes both this module right here that really increases the pressure. This takes both the front and rear hydraulic brake and gets it down into one line. So now all the braking is done on that left side. In addition, so I know what you're thinking, well, wait a second, if it's braking both the front and the rear, y'all check it out. This piece of hardware from Outbreaker here, that is really an anti-lock braking system. So that will ensure that no matter how abruptly Pam brakes, it's not going to throw her over the front. It will lock up the rear, but it will not lock up the front wheel. So super, super cool. All the braking controlled on the left side. Let's talk about shifting. We went with SRAM's wireless rival components. It's available, it's reliable, and it's affordable, most importantly. The wireless aspect is what allows us to get all of the shifting onto one side. So check this out. For Pam shifting, she'll have the traditional lever like the rest of us, but we've gone ahead and put in a wireless blip right here under the hood that she'll be able to modulate with your thumb, as well as one right here on the drop of the bar. So both blips together will adjust the front derailleur, whereas both the blip here in the thumb and the traditional shifter is gonna control the rear derailleur. Pretty darn cool. Now look, what we didn't capture on video was we have already had Pam come in for the initial setup where we did not have any of the bar wrap on so we could really dial in where she was comfortable and where the ergonomics made most sense to put these wireless shifters. Pretty damn cool. The Felt VR. Now let's talk about the rims. So, yes, you've seen us do a lot of Envy wheels, a lot of Zip wheels through here. There's a reason we went with the Rolf Prima wheels. Number one, we spec this one with a Aries 6 rear wheel and an Aries 3 front wheel. So 60 millimeter deep in the rear, 30 millimeters deep in the front. Now Pam's a lighter rider, again, you're gonna subscribe so that you see our videos coming out where we're gonna introduce Pam and do a little interview and get to know her better. But right now, I wanna talk about why we did this setup on the wheels. So yes, we went as deep as possible for aerodynamics on the back. We went, yes, aerodynamic on the front, but not too deep. Just knowing again that Pam's all controls, everything's really gonna be on that left side. So I don't want any big winds or crosswinds affecting her much. But we really went with these Rolfs because we have found them to be one of the easiest when it comes to changing tires. So a Rolf wheel, nice rounded edges with a Vittoria tire, this wheel is gonna be far, far easier to change, especially with one hand. So really cool, really intentional spec there on the wheels. Y'all, this is gonna be awesome 
I'm pumped that you're watching this. I hope you've made it into the video this long, and I hope you've hit subscribe, because this is gonna be a really, really neat project. We look forward to sharing more with you. We've also got a couple links down below if you wanna read more about Pam and her mission, and maybe even donate uh, towards the effort and show her your support. But y'all, this one's cool. Happy to show it to you.